So, John, it's really fantastic to see you again. Thanks so much for coming nice and chatting about your piece yeah. and to finally have the, the finished, yes. almost finished version of, yeah. of the concerto, My Hands. Um, it's called The Madonna of Silence. Can you tell me a little bit about The Madonna of Silence? Well, uh, the title is Madonna of Silence, um, and the subtitle of a drawing which I found in a gallery in Nottinghamshire at Welbeck Abbey by Michelangelo is a drawing of the Holy Family, and in brackets he calls it the Madonna of Silence. Mm -hmm. And I thought this was such an astonishingly beautiful title, quite apart from the drawing itself, which is one of the most intriguing and possibly disturbing drawings of the Holy Family I've ever seen. It's not very large. Uh, and it's in red chalk and crayon. And everything about the drawing is wrong, and it's full of intrigue to the, to the viewer. Um, for a start, the Madonna looks nothing like the, the uh, angelic version of the Madonna of the young virgin girl that you see in medieval paintings. She's a woman of the court, and she's wearing a dress which is far too revealing for the subject. Um, the child on her lap is already in the position of the Pieta of the fallen Jesus from the cross. And it has a, the head of a child but the muscular body of a man. The third figure is Joseph who is this big brooding witness looking over her shoulder wondering what on earth is going on here. And in the distance in one, to one side there's a, a fourth figure. We don't know who it is. Some commentators think it's St. John the Baptist. Other commentators think that it's Hercules because John the Baptist wore a camel's skin. Hercules wore a lion's skin. And this figure is actually wearing a lion's skin. So I don't know why Michelangelo called it Madonna of Silence. But I was also rather tickled by the idea of uh, you know, a really strong instrument in the orchestra of having a title, a work written for it called Madonna of Silence. I'm really interested to know how you approached writing a more um, major role for the trombone as opposed to when you write for the trombone within the orchestra. <coughs> Obviously there's normally, we normally uh, um, uh, hunt as a pack in the trombones, yeah, we're yeah. normally there as a, as a team of three um, and so to be on one's own is both very strange for me and I would imagine quite different mm. for a composer as well actually. Yeah, I, it, this is the most extensive music I've ever written obviously for trombone and some of the most extreme as well both in terms mm. of range. And, um, initially I was going to have lots of you doing lots of smart things like you know singing lots of notes and playing them at the same yeah. time and lots of wild glissando and, and I thought I, this is going to turn it into a circus piece. I don't want that. I want it to be a serious piece where your mm. lyrical <coughs> uh, qualities as a player, which I, yeah, I, I, I love, um, uh, can sit alongside something more athletic. Three, um, four. <laughs> my birthday just before this concerto. It's my 40th birthday, oh. make sure that it's out there. And, uh, and I actually can't think of a better oh. 40th birthday present. Oh, that's fantastic. It's absolutely, um, what an absolute honour to have a piece written uh, for me oh. and with such an, um, you know, such an amazing composer and so, such incredible collaboration that you've allowed me to, oh, to come in oh, on, which has been you. an amazing treat. Um, what about the um, the end of that section in bath three five two three five three? Uh, I've given you the high. Yeah, it should be fine. And then a, and then a flutter tongue on it. Oh, it should be okay. Um. Oh, that's okay. Well, it's probably the flutter will probably end up starting a little after the note. Okay, if but is okay. the notation okay? Shall I show you? Yeah, the notation is Yeah. No, Would it help it. to put an accent on that second note? And on that second beat, I mean. Da -dee -da -dee -da. Well, yeah. it will end up with one, probably. Is that what you're after? No, more, more of an accent. Da -da 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 I've got. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, so, so it's two accents. So one on. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I can do that, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, hats off to, to John Summers and the Halley for, for coming to me and saying, you know, we'd like you to write on the concerto. How, how, how would you like to write a trombone concerto? Yes. And to you for saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's going to be great. So it's great. You know, it's been great working with you so far, and I think I uh, can't wait to hear yeah. the end results. And then one, two, three. Thank you.